John Smith, the Shadow Chancellor, said it would be touching, touchingly naive of anyone to imagine that we're linked to the ERM now for anything other than pre-election reasons. Do you agree with him? Timing is everything for the politician, and it's hard to complain of politicians who attend to timing and to time such a thing if it was going to be done and one half of it was going to be done anyhow and I'd like to come to that point to time it just at this point was so obvious that it almost too obvious so it spoilt it spoilt the Tories chances in a sense do you think in the run-up to the Bournemouth conference no I think it's assisted their chances you do. chances of having a happy conference now you mentioned, I'll come back to that as well, yes. you mentioned that you wanted to talk about it had already been decided, well, this half of it had been decided. Well there are two halves to the decision which was announced last week. One is to reduce the interest rate and the other is entering the European exchange rate mechanism. Mm -hmm. Now these are completely separate because the interest rate could be reduced by itself, that's a separate decision and that's a decision which the Chancellor was able to take at any time. But but don't, has to don't let them tell you that it's necessary to keep interest rates high in order to combat inflation. Inflation, it's true, was caused by taking interest rates down so low in 1987 that there was a flood of new money. But once the flood of new money and credit has been released, you can't mop it up by high interest rates. Well, what was the alternative to the high interest rates? Well, the alternative was to wait, to sit back and wait. But politicians always have to be doing, doing something, don't they? See what I'm doing? Look, no hands. Mm -hmm. so, so to come back to the Tory party conference and it being a happier affair now, why would it necessarily be a happy affair? In the short term, yes, sterling is soaring, shares are there, interest rates have come down. But that's the short term. In the long term, the Tories have still got to face up to the fact that you know, there could be problems around the corner. Maybe they have, but a conference lasts a week and people come to a conference wanting a good week and this has helped them with the kick-off. Do you think it'll get them to the end result that is that they will win the election because this has set the tone almost for the for the for run-up to the election campaign well I don't think that's a decision which would have been taken as yet I think at this stage in a parliament a prime minister is still watching and thinking and has not yet decided be very injudicious to have taken the decision on that sufficiently firm to fix other decisions to attach to it. You in the past have been an implacable opponent or you've pointed out the real concern behind getting involved in the European Monetary Fund. Do you regret this decision? Do you regret us going into the ERM today? I think we shall regret it. It's always a mistake and we experienced this in the past to peg your exchange rate because then you've either got to inflate to keep it up or you've got to keep it down or you've got to deflate to get it up. You're at the mercy of other forces, more at the mercy of other forces than you needed to be. So it's not really, in my opinion, connected with European monetary and political union. Mm -hmm. Indeed, in the Prime Minister may have decided upon it as part of a deal to help her in getting her way over that later on. Mm -hmm. That's very possible that she's got this old commitment from around her neck and feels freer. Enoch Powell, thank you very much indeed.